Namaste. So, in case you haven't noticed, this world is a veil of suffering where birth and death take place. Birth is suffering, death is suffering, and in between, there's suffering. Don't fool yourself. There's no happiness here. What kind of happiness is it that has an end? If it has a beginning, it will also have an end. And when it ends, that's suffering. So the only sane thing to do is to search for an escape. There is no escape out there. The whole world is full of suffering. It may be suffering in the guise of some clever plan that's supposed to reduce or eliminate suffering. And, and that's how the leaders sell all of their crap. Buy this, join that, huh? go to this seminar, attend this workshop, buy my books, join my ashram or whatever. It's all bullshit. None of that is going to help you. What will help you is to find the escape. Where's the escape? In, in here, inside. How do you find it? Well, you have to look for it. But the first thing that you must accept is that you're not going to find it through the senses. You're not even going to find it through the mind, although the mind can help guide you if you have right view. We've talked on this channel and talked and talked until we're blue in the face. And so far, I don't think anybody has got right view. So, First of all, you have to accept that this place is full of suffering. You have to get out. And the way you get out is by getting right view from somebody who has it and then doing the work. Like the Buddha used to say, do what has to be done. What has to be done? Well, that's given in the Patanjali Yoga Sutras, the Eightfold Path. Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, huh? Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi, the eight limbs or angas of yoga, Ashtanga. But of course, nobody teaches all the eight anymore. They only teach one, asana. Really, they should call it ekanga yoga, not ashtanga yoga. It's a lie. And the people who, who teach so-called tantra, they're also selling you a lie. It's not just about sex. It's about finding the goddess within. I found the goddess within a long time ago, or rather she found me <laughs> in 1984. I've told this story several times. I, was, I had been staying at Rancho Rajneesh in Oregon, and every time I went there, this is the funniest thing, over two years, I stayed there most of that time. And I never had any work to do. 
my activities there were simply to go to meditation in the morning, take meals, go to meditation at night. The rest of the time I was free. I don't know how, but somehow or other, I'd never had any work to do. So what did I do? I meditated and thought and read and studied. So then after leaving there, when things got so crazy, everybody was completely paranoid and there were guards with machine guns and helicopters with searchlights overhead all night. I mean, it was crazy. It was nuts. Total paranoia. I got out of there. I went back to my place in Portland and I just sat. I just sat and meditated. Because that's what all the Rajneeshis were not doing. They were not meditating. They were not following his instructions at all. It was just a show. It was just another bullshit trip. So I just sat there. And I didn't do anything. The goddess came to me. The Shakti came and tapped me on the forehead. And that's when I got enlightened. So, you may not like me. In fact, you probably don't like me. In fact, I probably don't like you either, if I were to meet you. Huh? I just had one so-called student come from UK, and his association was so toxic and, and so, I mean, stressful for me. I had to shut down completely. That's the only way I could survive it until he was out of my hair. So you guys are in trouble. You are in serious trouble. You are so far away from the truth that even after eight years of me posting a video almost every day, huh? actually it works out to something like every four days because I had 650 videos on this channel in eight years. But anyway, after all that work, and nobody has got right view, nobody is practicing correctly, nobody understands the essence or the form of this teaching. So you all failed. You failed yourself. I already got it. I don't need you. You need me to give you right view. But I'm going to be out of here soon. I had a dream last night. Now, for the longest time, my Shakti has been my dream companion. Almost every night I have a dream, then she's in it. And most of them don't have any real earth-shaking content is just our relationship, our beautiful relationship. But last night, we were in this place and there was all this stuff happening. What happened really was irrelevant, but it wasn't pleasant. Other people coming in and trashing our space, huh? just like they do in real life. And we sat down and we were looking at each other and she just went, I want to go home. I'm like, yeah, let's go home. So we're on our way out. Huh? This body is 72 years old. It's not going to last much longer. And I have a feeling I'm going to go out. I'm not going to go out quietly. <laughs> so you have an opportunity if you want, if you really want to get out of here to learn the way. And what is the way? Just get right view somehow or other. Beg, borrow, steal, or learn. My God, what a radical suggestion. Learn something? Huh. Nobody's ready for that. Learn right view. 
do the work, get out of Dodge. Go through the gate into the heavenly world and then go beyond even that to real enlightenment. Aum Tat Sat.